Hello Cancer, welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all feeling amazing and I really hope that the week has just been wonderful for all of you. Cancer, let's get straight into it, shall we? Let's jump straight in, I'll clear the deck. For this week I'll be using the Pulp Girls Tarot and I'll be clarifying with the Morgan Greer Tarot. All right, Cancer, so for this week I do want to talk about... Um, Kind of like a subject where perhaps you want just really a lot of clarity about that i mean i suppose that's the whole point of tarot but you probably already saw with a thumbnail the cover art that i created for you cancer and if you've had a falling out with a certain individual you know romantically and some of you are curious or maybe really wondering can this love be resurrected you know can this connection this relationship can it be saved and if you're waiting for this person to show a sign, an inkling or a white flag or anything that they still care and you're wondering if they will come back, I'm going to explore all of that um, in this um, video. So this can be someone you're dealing with right now in the present and it's on again or off again or there's been more challenges rather than, you know, good times, more positive times. And, you know, maybe you're talking to this person, maybe you're not. There's been a, it feels like a permanent falling out. This could be someone from your recent past or indeed for some of you. Um, this is deeper into your past and we're just still wondering, can this ever, ever be resurrected? Can healing ever happen between the both of you? So out of all the other uh, zodiac signs that I've done this week, it's been all very mixed. You know, some have shown that this relationship will work out. And, you know, uh, you know, for example, I did Pisces and uh, it's probably best if they don't resurrect it. And I say that with respect because some people just don't, don't change. Um, also, happy announcement, Cancer, that um, Gigi and I will be uploading our website very soon. Um, and also, we will be launching in that website um, our 100% online, 100% self-paced. It's the online master tarot course. And it's going to be uh, run by me. You'll be actually be able to see my face as opposed to here. I just want, you know, on YouTube, the all the uh, concentration to be on the cards here as well. So, yeah, that's going to be a really full on reading. And it's yours for life. You'll have lifetime access for that. So I'll be telling you, uh, you know, in the next coming weeks in your videos and on the community page when all of that is up, ready and live. All right, let's do this. Here we go. Everything, please, and anything that Cancer should know about for the highest good and always for their highest good, please. Three more. Two more. Last one. Oh. Okay, so I'm just hearing the word new beginnings. That's interesting. So not sure yet um is new beginnings with this person or is it with someone else perhaps or just a new beginning on your own all right bottom of the deck what do we have wow we got the magician and that is about pretty that's weird it's about new beginnings i usually do pick up on the energies and the messages sometimes well before i actually end up seeing the card um so we have here a gemini and we also have virgo energy but whoever did this you know to you whoever you know um hurt you for example they can be any star sign they can be any gender but i see here that there's some manifestation work going on we have all the tools on the table to make this work though i do feel this could be your person cancer but they're doing it from far away like so far away that we're not feeling their um, energy anymore i feel like it's almost like they're very entertaining the thought here by you know manifesting harder wishing harder praying harder doing more intentional work that they would like a new beginning with you but they're doing it, I'm, I'm seeing it from far away. There's nothing big, there's nothing solid here that they're doing. And I think it's because they know that they are up against a big stone wall, like a big brick wall, you could say. Seven of Wands, Leo energy. And I feel here that uh, I'm just getting kind of like the energy from the collective that you're tired of BS. Not just from this person, but from a lot of people that have disappointed you, that fall through with their promises instead of just saying what they mean and mean what they say you know they're kind of like acting like children or teenagers here so i think your person knows that if they were to kind of return they you probably may judge them quite harshly here they've done something that is very unruly very unfair and i like it you're being assertive you're standing your ground and you're you're defending your position here we have the devil capricorn energy we have the star Aquarius energy and we have the page of pentacles Capricorn energy again could also be a Virgo um, or a Taurus 
Oof, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Oh, wow. Okay. I think this person wants to come back home to you. Um, Four of Wands, Aries Energy. It's, it is the card of home. It is a reconciliation here. Um, I do feel here that there have been some lies and manipulation and self-sabotage on your person's end. They could also have been dabbling, whether you knew about it or behind the scenes, um, with some like self-medicating, like dependencies, you know, self-medicating, over-drinking. I can't sleep, so I just pop a pill. Um, overeating, too much retail therapy, gambling. It's too much of something because this is the card of extremes and it's also temptation. So your person is tempted to press send and send you a message here, but it's something small. It's nothing big, it's nothing grand, but it's to heal the situation here. I don't know, uh, you know, what do they see that, you know, light at the end of the tunnel, but they do want to heal this. Okay, let's get to the main energies here. Just getting that your person was not honest and i think you'd know that though your intuition you don't even need physical evidence whatever they did um yeah i think that's a major turn off for you so the current energies please now between the both of you is the page of cups pisces cancer scorpio energy interesting i do feel here that for some of you there may be children involved either you have or they have children it could even be between the both of you but there is this element cancer that your person how you view them still is someone that's just very immature. It's like they may be 40, 50, 60, whatever, but um, they're acting like a 14, 15 year old. There's definitely a message coming your way. If anything, your person is just coming across with the energy of pages. So nothing grand, nothing big. It's probably because they're testing the waters. Let's see Cancer's reaction. Small messages, small offers. I am seeing an apology. And yes, you'll pick up there are some words that they say that are fueled by love. Yes, they're backed by emotions here as well. Um, but I feel like they would they wish to have a budding romance here with you now in saying that um, What else is coming towards you and how do you feel? The knight of swords Gemini Libra Aquarius energy So that's the fastest night and I see that you are going to make a very quick decision about this person I you may appear impulsive I, I would say sit with it before you do make a decision because the knight of swords always says do not be impulsive really think about it um, but things are going to move very fast for you, Cancer, in the next couple of weeks. So definitely bef well before the end of this year. We know that the Knights have the Fantastic Four, as I say. The big four, right? Um, the very promising four. You've got messages, changes, transitions, you know, offers. I'm actually going to say communication, but we can see it right here. So um, there's a lot happening here. And I feel some of you may actually quickly respond to this person. Oop. Let's talk about your person, how they view you. And their thoughts and feelings is the Six of Pentacles, Taurus energy. So they do wish to balance things out. And it's almost like they want to somehow along the line and very quickly prove to you that they do come with good intentions, that they're not going to waste your time here. Or um, it's like here today, gone tomorrow, though. They may actually also give you a gift. I'm hearing toward the end of the year. So if you do celebrate the holidays, they'll use that as an excuse, for example. Um, now, what's happening behind the scenes with your person? Okay, they're a little bit indecisive on how to talk to you. What's the first words, the first sentence? Libra energy. In fact, I feel like your person has been procrastinating for a long time. They've been delaying themselves, even in denial. It's like, I'm fine, I don't need cancer, but yet their heart is beating for you. They've got the star, they're being very hopeful here. They're wishing, literally they're trying to manifest this. I feel like they just don't know where to begin. They don't know what to say to you. They're imagining it, but when it's crunch time, I think they would just fall short on their words though. Um, let's see, the beating heart of your reading. Now, really important card. It does affect all of the other cards 100% and will often show mutual energies. It's the strength card, Leo energy, interesting. You know, I, I like this card because I feel here that both of you, I don't know how, but you've mastered to control your emotions. You're both holding back. Um, and it's not like we're punishing each other. It doesn't bring us any joy, but we're, you know, I see here that whatever your person did, it probably did knock your confidence a bit down to the ground. And now because your person knows also that you may judge them harshly, that you will speak your truth. And sometimes the truth hurts, but they do need to hear it. Um, I feel like they're also working on their self-esteem, their confidence, their self-worth here as well. And they're just building up their bravery because, again, I just feel like they don't know what to say to you. They even sometimes don't even know how to approach you. But on a side note, you know, this does speak of there's a lot of love here between the both of you. And you're wondering, do we have literally the strength to go from strength to strength here? So ultimately, what do they want? Let's see. All right. 
I'll just cover them up. We do have the lovers, Gemini energy. So you're probably wondering why I'm starting to cover um, certain cards up. It's only because I've received a lot of complaints from viewers. They've complained to um, YouTube that um, they're quite offended. So I don't want anyone to be offended, but I, I don't want my ch channel to be crossed or, you know, um, marked by YouTube or else I, I won't be able to do these readings anymore. So I will have to um, put these cards upside down. I don't want to kind of put um, color, the, color them in because I don't want to ruin the cards. But it's pretty clearly here with the lovers, number six, Gemini energy, that your person absolutely uh, is making a choice from the heart that they want to heal this, that they actually, they want to be with you. And not going to lie, they actually do love you. Mm. All right. Let's talk about stuff that perhaps you want, that you wish, and stuff that you're concerned about. Is the Three of Pentacles. Capricorn energy. For some of you, you want to ensure that there is no third party of any kind. Even if your person was going through a separation, um, a divorce of any kind, whether it is another third party of any kind, but um, your wish here is to see eye to eye with this person. Now, this often does lead to face to face communication. Like we're meeting now again, you know, it seems like for the first time all over again. So um, a big concern here is that what if they're not on the same page? You know, do they have an agenda or something? I'm not really seeing this, though. I do feel that your person is kind of battling their own inner demons, you could say, trying to overcome any addictions and dependencies. But I'm not really kind of getting that you're super worried as in like we're scared. I'm not seeing like the eight of swords, the nine of swords, the five and the seven of swords. That's a lot of mental conflict. Um, one thing I know is that your person does want to send you a message. They just don't know how to begin. In fact, they may be very quiet when you see them face to face or even FaceTime here as well. It's, it's not because they don't care. They just don't know what to say because they know that they sorely screwed up here. But there will be a chance here. This is about collaboration. The, you know, the team makes the dream work though. So the near future, how will this actually impact you? It's in line with you. And we have the very level headed and the very grounded Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You may expect a big offer from this person. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's like it starts off small with the pages. Then we meet face to face. And then suddenly it's like, I'm going to make a very big offer. Let's try again and let's just be committed. Let's make it official straight away. Mm. Okay. I don't know. Are you going to say yes or no to this? Okay. Some of you may actually say no. The five of cups. Scorpio energy. I feel because a lot of you are still very deeply hurt over what this person did. And I'm, I'm getting already that either they put you in a third party. They might have left you for a third party. Um, because the devil is all about temptation. It's a card of extremes. There's something about your person that has like permanently turned you off. It could just be what they've, how, how they even act emotionally. But this is like mourning. It's crying over love lost, like the death of the relationship. Very disappointed here. They still will fight for you to meet you. Um, I always note because we have your home in the background and we've got the bridge there, which is a meeting point. We meet in the middle. Let's cross that bridge over when we get there. You know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But I don't feel that some of you are going to be fully convinced. What you want is something reliable, grounded, safe. Some of you actually even want commitment, marriage. It's so interesting. I don't know if your person is actually ready to give you that. That's why. And what I like is that you're not settling for anything less though. Split the deck. Yeah. High priestess, Pisces energy. Yeah. Your person may be showing you one face and then showing a face, different face to other people. They could be still quite mysterious, not telling you everything, keeping a lot of secrets, or even if, you know, just not telling you. Even, they don't have to be lying, but they're just still not telling you the truth, though. I feel like there was an interference, though. I'm feeling it's either family, like, like their family members, children, or an ex. That was causing quite a lot of controversy, meddling in here as well. Last one. And, you know, I, especially when I see if someone did you wrong, I'm not surprised when their energy is our only pages because they're pretty much afraid of approaching you or they're testing the waters to see how are you going to react. Yeah, see, not surprised, another page. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Wow. 
yeah it's like they want to give you good news i mean the page of wands is always the bearer of good news usually um and we've got that four of wands again so yeah they actually want to come home and they want to commit to you and they absolutely want to because of the hierophant taurus energy the ten of pentacles i mean that's just a married couple right there virgo energy they're having it all and it's being blessed by the sun the happiest card it's like they i don't know how it's like they're begging themselves or begging you to see eye to eye with them it's a really happy card though i think you need some convincing here they really want to resurrect this I'm not gonna lie they really want to save this bring it back to life they really do want to come back i just think here this is a very big gray area for you the page of cups is clarified by the queen of swords libra gemini uh, aquarius energy i feel that definitely there is this element either you cancel your person someone here is widowed separated divorced here as well you've been through a lot though you absolutely have but now whatever they send you you're kind of like seeing it as like no nonsense it's like just get straight to the point just tell me what what, what is it that you want so i think you may be a little bit sharp with your tongue and i'm seeing that you may lack a bit of patience with this person but they i think like they've taken out all the patience from you yeah i almost feel like you're trying not to involve your feelings too much you don't want to put your heart back out there and i i think exactly that because we're not seeing any cups except for the page of cups let's um let's talk about you here yeah i think you're you're not really sure the seven of cups scorpio energy i think this is why the cards are saying not to be impulsive but you're going to make a quick decision eventually um because this is when we're kind of emotionally spread out we're spread out thin we're emotionally confused you know we're a little bit emotionally overwhelmed here and it's like do i talk to them do i take them back friends do i shut the door in their face do i see what else is out there this or that so it's almost like yeah i think emotionally we, we actually don't know what to do this person may just cat you know they, they catch you off guard in other words Mm. your person is the six of pentacles and you on their placement we have the moon cancer and also pisces energy i still feel like your person is still quite mysterious they have some internal fears and anxieties about approaching you because they just don't know i mean this is in line with them i feel like they know very well that you most likely will say no to them here as well I mean, you might be thinking, yes, I want to resurrect this. But the fact is that, you know, we saw the high priestess, we saw the moon, the highly intuitive cards, and that's the, the keeper of secrets and of mysteries, um, you know, even secret, you know, romantic um, connections here, like affairs, in other words. Um, but they're also finding you a mystery. You're not really giving a lot away to this person. Maybe last year you would have, but definitely, certainly not this year, though. I don't feel like there's enough, there's enough faith, there's not enough trust here. So let's talk about your person with that two of swords. Um, if I had to kind of speak on their behalf, what is it that they want, that they struggle so much to say, is the Empress, Taurus and Libra energy. That is the divine feminine. It's all the queens wrapped up into one. It is the most abundant card. This also may be the mother of their children, could also show their own mother here as well. So it is on top of a three. So again, I'm seeing that there is a third party situation and it's still happening. Now they wish to give birth to this. It's pretty evident. It's a very literal card. They want to give birth to this. It's like for them, it's a big cornucopia, blessed opportunities to make things right. But I don't feel like they're going to be letting you know that that third party is still hanging around in the shadows. Yeah. So it's not like they're, I don't feel like they're lying, but they're not going to tell you everything. It's still going to be a secret. Mm. The strength card, please, is clarified by the six of pentacles again. Wow. So I think you're actually really wondering and a bit confused. Can this actually be healed? Can this be balanced here as well? Because I feel that it may happen again. You know, I'm seeing in the past, your person perhaps gave too much of their time, too much of their energy here to someone else versus you. And it, you felt like at one point, do I have to beg for this? Um, and you kind of felt like an option. You were not this person's first priority. So I, I'm not really seeing that your person has changed. I mean, listen, I like that they want to come back to fix things. Absolutely. But is that enough? Now we have the lovers here and that is clarified. Yeah, look at that. We've got the five of cups again. Okay, so the biggest message I've already got my spirit team is showing to me is that your person has a lot of emotional regret over not being honest with you. And the thing is, I can already see that they're still not going to be honest with you. It's like, this is someone that like, like beats around the bush, you know, it's like, 
they're afraid of confrontation. They are afraid of telling you the truth, especially because they're worried about what you're going to think of them, how you are going to perceive them. Because I, I can already see here that your patience is wearing extremely thin here with this person. And just in general, people that you know that are just going to waste your time. And there's nothing wrong with that cancer to kind of have your, you know, have strong boundaries here as well. Let's talk about that three of pentacles. Yeah, see, you need time to think about this. You're not jumping into, and you're, I, I, I'm not seeing any other cups, you know, except for these very challenging ones. Um, the four of swords is Libra energy. So I see this is all about rest, recuperation, recovery, healing, but that's you gathering your thoughts, thinking of your next move. It's like, oh, okay, well, I can commit to this person, but will I end up regretting it though? And I see here that your person, yeah, they're kind of like building up like the script of what to say to you. Do not be surprised. They may contact you within the next full moon at nighttime when you least expect it. Let's talk about you here with the Queen of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, some of you are good on your own. We've got the Hermit. That is Virgo energy and it's the wise sage. And look at that. You're casting light into the situation, into the past. I think you just want a bit more clarity here about, you know, why your person actually did what they did to you. Because I'm really picking up here that for some reason they favored that third party. Now, maybe because that third party is predictable, they know them, they know what to expect. So it was safe. Um, but you've learned some big spiritual lessons here. And you've got no problem being on your own. Let's see with that five of cups. Mm, yeah, the two of wands. So that is Aries energy. But I think you know where you're going towards here as well, because we've got, you know, this is actually not really typical, but you've, you've made your decision there. You're holding on to one wand. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's another hand there. That's really non-traditional of the two of wands, but someone else is, they've made their decision and you've made yours. I think some of you are, may actually say no to this person. Yeah, you may actually have a brand new start somewhere else. Definitely could be with an Aries. Split the deck. Yeah, you've got a brand new beginning somewhere else. The Ace of Pentacles. In fact, for many of you, this time next year, I think you're going to be committed, if not even married to someone else though. Let's see. More for the outcome. Oop, too much. More for the outcome, please, for Cancer. Thank you. Two more. There we go. The Queen of Cups there, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I think you're putting yourself first. Yeah, Cancer, the cards have spoken. Um, we've got Justice. Libra energy. The scales are imbalanced. There is still a massive imbalance here. Will not be surprised if your person is separated or divorced. Um, I think the cards are saying, please don't go for it. Ultimately, Cancer, um, obviously I can't tell you to do what you want, but these cards speak for itself. We've got heartbreak and we still have a third party here with Libra energy and the full um, Aries energy. I don't feel it's that new person though, but it's almost like look before you leap because you're about to experience in the future more injustice, more unfair situations. Even if your person is separated or divorced here, there's that third party that's still hanging around and I don't know what they're going to do, but we're still having broken hearts here. Split the deck. I think you're going to find someone else and that's you. That's cancer energy. Yeah, you got to, yeah, I think you're going to free yourself from this person. You may meet this new person at work. Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Could be at work, studies, finances in a professional setting. Don't like the outcome. And I think I'm confirming a lot of what you already know to be true. Yeah. Yes, you may get that apology. You may get that clarity. And I see you having time here, chewing, you know, kind of mulling over, you know, everything that's been said here as well. And you know what? If, if they leave you a little bit emotionally confused, it's like, well, should I give them a chance and all that? That is totally fine. But I'm just going to tell you right now, they are still keeping secrets from you. There is still a third party hanging around. As much as they want to resurrect it, I don't think you're going to allow it because now you are reapproaching life now from a place of wisdom and experience. And you're not letting anything, you know, fly by you. The outcome, I'm seeing a new start here with someone else. And I think you're making the decision. It's like, yeah, look before you leap. That I think... It's like walking back into heartache. We're opening up that door again to everything that your person did. And it's like allowing it to happen to us all over again, Cancer. So, wow. But on a positive note, um, yeah, we have a brand new start with someone else. 
definitely could be fire sign. We've got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, and we've got earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn um, as well. Wow, this is a solid, passionate, exciting new beginning. They're telling me for those that do celebrate the holidays at the end of the year, um, Christmas or any other um, holiday, I think you're going to meet them around there. It's going to be random, but I think it's destined. All right, Cancer, thank you for joining me. I hope it gave you some clarity and more importantly, confirmation of how you're already feeling about this person. I will see you next week with a brand new reading, fresh new topic. You're in control, which is why I say every week, power to you, Cancer. Bye.